So we're going to be getting to audio soon, I promise. And I know there's a lot of you that are just chomping at the bit to do that. But we're going to keep talking about Expand in MIDI just very quickly. Because there's so few people that really play all these instruments. And it's so handy to be able to have drum loops and bass parts and pads and pianos supporting your whether you play acoustic guitar or you're a singer. So this is going to come in handy and just hang in there. We're going to go back to Expand, which is on the mix screen. Command equal, okay? And we're going to click on the plugin right there, and there's expand. You'll notice we've got A, B, C, and D. Those are four different parts. But right now, I don't know why it's set up this way, they're all playing on this one means it's MIDI channel one. And what that is, it's like, um, think of expand as a TV that can play four different stations at the same time. As it stands with everything on channel one, if I went here and chose a pad layer or something, uh, let's choose a pad, space chopper. And I went to my keyboard and I put this track in record. You always have to put the MIDI track in record to hear it. See, now we've got the layer playing with the drum part, which is not what we want. If you had a TV that could play four different channels, you'd want, <coughs> hush, we'd uh, want like ABC here, CBS here, NBC here, you wouldn't want them all playing on top of each other on the same screen because you couldn't see anything, right? Uh, so what we want to do is separate these onto separate channels. So we're going to go, this is going to be MIDI channel 2, this is going to be MIDI channel 3, and this is going to be MIDI channel 4, okay? Hush. Um, we've created four separate MIDI channels. This means you can have one expand plugin because you would not want to take make multiple instrument tracks and use multiple instances of expand because it's a waste of memory. Because if what if one expands the drum loop and then another expand is the bass? You'd be taking up memory when you only need one expand to play four different parts. The musical term for that is multi timbral. It looks like timbral, uh, but it's pronounced timbral. Why I've never known, but it is. So let's put a bass part on channel two. So let's go here. Let's choose the category for bass. Where is bass? Let's choose whatever, um, uh, full finger bass. And then on channel three, let's put a soft pad. Let's make it, uh, I don't know. I don't know what C spray sounds like. We're gonna have to kind of fudge with stuff. And on channel four, Let's put a electric piano sweep EP, all right? So if I press play, all I hear is the drum, the drum beat because this is only playing MIDI channel one. So this is maybe a little confusing, but we're gonna, we need three more MIDI tracks, okay? So we're gonna go to track, we're gonna say new, and we're gonna say give me three right here. Three, we don't care about that, we just want MIDI tracks. Three MIDI tracks, let's go, bam. Okay, so let's move expand out of the way and let's scroll down and you'll see here what the hell is this and what is this. We want to tell this to play expand channel. So channel one's already taken because that's our drum loop. Channel two is the bass. Channel three is the pad. Channel four is the electric piano. So the first thing we're going to do, we've given each of these a MIDI channel, and on the each MIDI channel, we're going to double click and name them. We know this one is the bass. B, hush. Um, the next one, we're going to go next, is, okay, you've got to be quiet, um, is the pad, and the next one is the EP, the electric piano. Got to deal with the dog again. I will be... <laughs> I will be right back, sorry. Okay, she's only seven months old, so. But now if you'll notice, if we go to each track and we put this in record, it's a bass part. Um, I need to be an octave lower. There we go. Oops. Okay, we can turn it up. There's our bass. If I put this track in record, sorry, the volume's low. 
but there's our pad and if we put this track in record it is electric piano so we've got one expand with four different parts because here's what we did to recap we put it on MIDI channel one two three four separate MIDI channels and we made three new MIDI tracks and we set each of them to the corresponding channel then we named the channel what the instrument is and again you can go through and change all these instruments instead of full finger bass let's go to soft finger bass and just go through and find the sounds you want so if you would take the time figure out your sounds let's just start with a bass track and I'm going to show you how to record a bass track next okay <laughs> 